All right, guys, today on Chase Tail TV, we're gonna do something a little different. We brought our friend Evan down from the uh, Upper, Upper Delaware. Delaware. Professional fly fisherman, has a great charter business up there. We got our friend Dave right here, professional Dylan. fly fisherman on the salt. So we're gonna have a little battle in the bay today. We're gonna have the salt versus the fresh. We're gonna go target some stripers, some weak fish, some blue fish, see how it goes. Let's Should see what be we an can interesting do. day. It's gonna be a great day today, guys. I don't yeah, think so. Fish in the boat. I can't wait. Thanks Welcome for having me. Welcome to the salt. Me. Welcome hey. to the salt. Thanks, Welcome Joe. to the salt. But you know what? You're gonna lose, dude. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, Dave. So what's our plan today? What are we gonna be doing? Well, right now it's pretty much low incoming tide. We'll get out pretty much in the middle of the bay where the bluefish are hanging around and pounding out a little white uh, peanut bunker. And then as the tide comes in, we'll be able to get up on the flat in a long mud flat here right next to the bay. And the bass will come up out of the deep, onto the flat, up against the bank, and they'll start looking for crabs and things that they can eat along the bank and minnows, and that will cast it to there. It's generally smaller fish along the bank, the bigger fish are going to be in the deeper portion because it's 30 some odd feet out here. But we'll see. We'll have to play it by ear. Worst to worst comes to worst, we can go into one of the creeks and see if we can find something in there under the docks or the end or whatever. Yep, plenty of micro bass in those creeks, that's for sure. No it's all on time. What is it? It is though. There he's right on the surface, see him? That looks like a blue to me. He didn't breach it, oh, he didn't come up. That's a blue. He's in the tail, looks like. Yep, he snagged in the tail. Oh, yeah. That's a good size blue. Looks in the dorsal fin, you couldn't do that again. <laughs> That's hysterical. Bye bye. Here it is, one, one on. on. One on, baby. One on the fly. Hey. One on. All right. Yeah, I hear you. Once I broke that, once I broke that trout set. Oh, See him just puking. Yeah, I was grabbed by my hands. He does looks like he's got the hook. Oh, oh. That's a big one. Yeah, Bring him right to me to lead him. I got him. Okay, you want to bite me? I don't want you to bite me. That's a big one. Thank you, Bill. It is. Look at that bad boy. Thank you, sir. Got I got him. Yeah, that's yeah, a good buddy. one. That was pretty fun right there. Pop that out of there. Right there. All right, thank you, Mr. Blue. Let's go get some more. Yeah. Dave, so when you tie your flies on, what kind of knots do you use here for these streamers? Well, for the big ones, I try, I try pretty much to get a, a loop knot out of it. Uh, there's about 12 yep. different ways to tie it. Right. You t may tie it your way, I tie it mine. Mine brings the line back when it's done backwards. Th this edge of the It's tying the towards is, the fly. Ties towards the fly. And okay. the reason I like to use that is Different than what when I do. it's flying, when it's going through the water, the grass runs over it instead huh. of the grass it's caught, getting caught on the getting tag caught end. on it. Oh, that's smart. So it's, a, smart. it's a real simple tie. In, Through the eye. make a knot. Sorry, backwards. Make a knot. An overhand knot. Yep. Overhand. In through. Back out the way we came. Back through. So far, about the same way I do mine. So let's see. And then we have this. It's a loop over a loop. Yep. 
and then we wind up with three or four turns because that's all you need on this 20. Three or four turns. And then back through that loop that we made with the lines. And what this does is it kind of gives the streamer a little more action too with that loop knot instead of a direct tie. Sometimes the streamer runs real straight. So this will make it kind of back and forth. It can wobble a little more with that loop knot. I use the same thing with freshwater trout, but uh, almost the exact same tie. I think See it's, how you we, got a yep. loop here? See all the loops in front of the, in front of the streamer here? So it gives this a little more hinge. It gives this fly a little more hinge like that. And then we cut this tag end and see how the line's coming out the back of the knot. So when he cuts that, I cut it. ideally, if there is grass or weeds, it'll kind of run right over it, over it, rather than if this tag was pointed this way, the weeds would get stuck on it, and then you're kind of ruining your, your cast. Presentation. So. All right. Go thank, for it. Thank you. Let's get back in the water. Let's get some fish. <laughs> Listen, if I jumped in the water. Oh, I got him. He's in. Oh, he's in. He got it. He's on today. <laughs> You got it. The one that we saw, that's what you're looking for. You see that swirl? Cast right to Gotta him. Gotta get him on the fucking reel here. Oh, that's Ooh. a nice one there. Get a good bend in the rod. Nice. I haven't, there we go. We saw him, I mean, that's, that's sight fishing right there. He's coming up, coming up. Coming up to the top. The one-to-one -one reel with the fly reel. It's always fun. A little knuckle buster. No, I just, you gotta reel a lot, you know? You don't have yeah. that five to one ratio like you do on a spinning rod. Yeah, so I cheat a little, what can I say? No, no, <laughs> I, hey, I can I put spinning rods all the time. This is fun, though. Now with that line, that's a sinking line you have on there. Yeah, this is a full sinking spool that Dave set me up with. I have You're a sink tip on down. my rod, but this has a sink tip on, on top of the uh, intermediate sinking line. So it casts pretty nice. It's a nice short, stiff rod. Shoots this line really well. Here he is coming up yeah, right here. Good. Look at the size of that fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a big fish. That's definitely the one that we saw swirl. I'm just gonna back you up a little here. That's a nice, big, healthy one. Get you a little lower. Oh, I got it, I caught it. Wow, I there it. he goes. I grabbed it, that was a quick snap of my hand. Nice job. We got him in the boat. I felt it come, oh, I just on. latched on it. That was about as close to hooking the guide here as we could get. The last time I was like, I got hooked too. Yeah, so yeah. That's rule number one. We don't hook the guide. We're not hooking this guy. That was fun. Good fight. Another big blue. Let's yeah, go get another awesome. one, huh? The line's good, so you're not any awesome. at all. I'll be there to help you in a second, bud. Strong blue. There he is. I got him. I got him. Oh! Tail slap. Go. There you go, bud. On the fly, good stuff. Flies got the out. sink tip. We're using a sink tip with a sinking line. So we got the flies out. Nice. Sink tip, sinking line. We're working it real slow. We're getting them down. We got one or two hits on the top, but life is good. Uh, near the surface. Check but. out the yellow eyes. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful fish here, man. Fishing the, these back bays with these guys. Thanks for inviting me out here, hey, guys. It's I'm a glad blast. you came. This is awesome. See you, buddy. Good job, good job. Small striper, nice. All right, now all we need is the weak fish. There you go. Little back bay striper. Got that one on the uh, Yozori this time. Oh wow, that's some size. Keep Got some size there, bud. He's got a little, little Hopefully that's a bass. Yeah, that's a striper. You might be the one we're looking for. He's definitely got something nice here. I'm just hoping it's not the blue thing. Let's see what he is. Just show yourself. If I can get him. Hand me that lipper up there. I'll take them back to the gunnel. Let's see what I can do with this. That's a nice fish. Yeah, let's, let's I'll get to a lower portion of the gunnel. Right here, just bring them right to me. Nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these look pretty good, so I'm not worried right now, but 
You know, I think he's good, right? Oh yeah, that's good. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Guess what, bud? You got striper for dinner tonight. That's a beauty. Nice 20 pound striper. Nice job. Nice one. Back bay. 20 pound striper right there. What a great day we had today. Back bay fishing at its finest, no doubt. You know, it was fantastic. Where else can you catch stuff like this? I mean, this one right here was 14, 10 and a quarter, and the bass came in at 21 pounds. All in the back bay, five minutes from our dock. I mean, in light tackle, spin gear, fly, fly rod. <laughs> Did you have a good time today? I had a great time connecting with some blues. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they don't fight like trout, do they? No, not quite. <laughs> and they weren't too uh, jumpy today. No, you know, they, they weren't they were talking low. Like, Usually they they're jumping, jumping we had all the to work, work slow for them, but we yeah. got them. And, and yeah, it was a good morning, man. Real good. All in all, a great day. Man, real good time. These are going to go up to Evan. Evan's going to put these in the smoker. And if you haven't tried it, smoked bluefish is actually really, really good. Try it out, and then we'll flay up this bass. Everybody has a great meal and a great day. Life thank is you good. for having us. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank, thank you for you, coming. Sir. And I'm thank glad you, you came. Yeah, new, a, a, blast, new, a new world for you. Absolutely. So Anytime. Fun. Thank you.